Hello beautiful friends and welcome. Today we are going thrifting in San Francisco. Yes, this is the Golden Gate Bridge and we are taking a trip to the big city and doing some thrift shopping. Today we'll be visiting a Goodwill bins as well as a regular Goodwill store. At the end of the video I will show you a haul of everything we got and also how we styled some of our items. Stay till the end because we got a lot of really cute things but before we go in we're we're taking a much needed break. So we just got to the Goodwill bins. They are right there. We are excited to go do some shopping, see what we can find. Yeah, Eva? You ready to go? Yeah. We came to this location once last year, last summer, and it was really good. We found lots of awesome things, so the expectations were high, but when we got here, Everything was empty because they were doing the transition. I guess they take everything out and then put everything back in. So here we are coming in and people were just scattered everywhere, grabbing things. It was pretty intense. And then they were piling stuff up on the floor and I was going through those things and they're like, hey, this is my stuff. So that was kind of funny. Didn't know that was a thing but the girls are already finding lots of things this was a michael chorus little thin sweater that was cute and this was like grandma chic kind of cute i just wish it was like a neutral color even though things are really cheap i always try to remind my kids not to just grab things only take it if you really like it and we ended up with this big bag of things and it ended up being $26, which was not bad. And now we are on our way to a Goodwill in the city. We are here in our second location and let's see what we could find. Something to keep in mind, you have to pay for parking everywhere when you're in the city. We stayed in a hotel that was near the airport, which you don't have to pay for parking there. That was really nice. Last year when we were here, I was able to find a lot of cute things, so I am excited to see what they have. This section of silver and kind of wood things was first thing that caught my eye. These candle holders are cute, but this kind of reminded me of like communion for some reason. What would you use those things for? Now I'm really regretting not getting this because it is so cute and sweet. I loved it. This end cap had a lot of beautiful warm tones that I gravitate towards, like these glasses. I wanted to bring them home so bad, but I just don't have the space for it. And this mustard yellow pottery piece was just gorgeous. I love the handles on it. I don't know why I didn't bring it home. I'm beating myself up for it. And also this little pottery piece it has a drainage hole like why didn't i bring it home i could plant chives in there right now <laughs> um but yeah sometimes you just miss things and when you're editing or thinking back you want to like smack yourself for not getting certain things next we have these two lamps they are so beautiful reminds me of like grandma chic but if you don't like that style you can always paint over it i mean and the price was so right now the store had these beautiful displays up on the wall really inspiring this wooden piece caught my eye i don't know what it was but if you do let me know in the comments because it was really interesting now we used to have bunnies and this piece was just so adorable also this neutral color was really pretty and my daughter has resin and this was really inspiring to see what you can do with something like that if you are someone who likes to bring home souvenirs from a trip i would highly recommend visiting the local thrift store wherever you are vacationing because it will be a fraction of the cost if you are going to like a touristy place and with the money you save you can buy yourself an extra yummy cup of coffee <laughs> so we ended up not finding absolutely anything at the thrift store and now we came to miss doubtfire miss doubtfire's house i don't know if y'all seen the movie or not but we are here at her location 
It is the next day now. We came in late last night, but I had a cup of coffee before we started driving and I was up like all hours of the night. I just couldn't go to sleep because I don't usually drink coffee. So I had so much energy driving home from San Francisco and it was so calming and peaceful. I had the best conversation with my older one while the younger two were kind of dozing off. And those are the moments that are so special to be able to just connect with your child and they open up to you without you know us parents judging them it's so important for us parents to create a safe space where our children can come and talk to us and open up to us i'm curious to know how is your parenting journey going or how did it go if your children are a little bit older or with your grandkids like is your relationship with your grandkids totally different than from your children and what was your experience like growing up? Did you have strict parents or very chill and laid back parents? I was the middle child, so I literally got away with everything. Like my parents were strict with the older kids and very strict with the younger kids. But for me, I almost felt like I wanted more structure and like for them to kind of parent me a little bit stricter i don't know it was weird but i survived <laughs> you like your sweater yeah your thrifted outfit yeah. hello beautiful friends i hope that you had an amazing mother's day it's been a few days since we are back from our San Francisco trip and let me just show you all the things that I got so first thing I want to show you what my mother's get Mother's Day gifts were my oldest one she got me this beautiful little locket I was going to um, print some pictures and put it in here we purposefully took very far away pictures so they fit in here but um, didn't get to do that because instead I opened a bank account for my older one which is exciting you know it's it's something new for me because she's the oldest and there's always new things to come you know and then my middle one got me this beautiful ring it's a moon and a star and i just love that my thumbs are like so big my fingers in general are pretty big but um, i can never find the right a size that fits me so the fact that this kind of opens made it so much easier and then um my little one my 10 year old she crocheted this beautiful rose and i mean this one took her like four days to make it was such a process but she's so creative and i'm just in awe all the time of all the things that she does she is just such a crafty little girl um, and then of course to go along with it they made me some beautiful cards and they always draw a picture of something I love whether it's like the Golden Gate Bridge or a forest or plants you know and then my favorite part is they give me coupons and the coupons could be like breakfast in bed or um, your choice of movie or make you a cup of coffee you know stuff like that so it's always fun or another one i love is going hiking because i love hiking but they don't always like to go hiking so if they each give me a hiking pass i could just use it they cannot complain when we're there and everyone's happy um okay we have this huge pile of clothes that i got so this shirt is also um, something I picked up at the bins and I just love the detail. It's kind of simple and neutral. I just really like it. And um, so we paid $26, I believe, for all of the clothes that you will see here today. And I just want to say that this, this hoodie right here costs like triple the amount of what I paid um, at the bins so it was definitely worth it so we go to santa cruz every year maybe a couple times a year we love to go to the boardwalk and the kids love to um go on all the rides 
and a few years ago we bought hoodies for everyone and let me tell you they're like 75 a hundred dollars if you are buying them on the pier and we found one a hoodie and it's great quality let's see it doesn't really the brand is wiped off but look it has that big old sign it's a little bit like oversized but my kids love it so that was definitely a, a deal and then this was super cute it's like um, the dwarfs and it says size doesn't matter and at first I looked at that and I was like mm, my adult mind kind of went there and I was like she's in middle school do I tell her do I not and I was like Evelina I'm gonna tell you because I don't want you to wear it and you not know she's like super innocent and sweet and I was like you know size doesn't matter boys or girls or people refer to it as the boys part private part and she was like ew that's so gross and I'm like do you want to put it back do you want to what do you want to do and she's like I don't care if their mind is gonna go there then you know I'm gonna have a comeback to say about that and I was like okay as long as you know you know what I mean because she's not little and and that's another thing it's like kids are growing up and when do you have these talks with them you know it's like nerve-wracking and I'm always learning you know as I go but yeah that's that with this with this crew neck but it's super cute and just sweet I don't know she liked it so we got it um, yeah we found a lot of sweaters so this one is from Old Navy made in Indonesia super simple very very soft material my little one loved that and then my middle one also found a black one as well and then this one was for my little one it's from gap kids and it's just like a simple pink sweater and then my middle one also got this one it's just a cute little oversized sweater and then I also picked up these like trousers these were just super cute I don't have anything like that so I'll try it on and see if I even like how they look um, and then here's the other stack so as you know my little one is loving t um, crocheting and and doing all these crafty things so she found this beautiful pink little knit blanket and she sleeps with it every night it's not that big but she loves it and then the other thing that the next thing we got are these really really soft comfortable sweats but they're so soft they have pockets they're this beautiful baby blue color and just Perfect for these chilly spring um, nights and mornings. My middle one got this cute little t-shirt, just peaches on there and this cowgirl, which is super cute. And she already wore it with these sweatpants. So that was cute. Yeah, because the weather here is insane. Sometimes it's like 95 degrees and then in a few days it's like, 65 you know and super windy super cold now the next thing we got is just this simple little crop top that they could wear with um with like high-waisted so their midsection isn't showing too much and then there were three t-shirts um by kirkland so costco brand they were just simple t-shirts my older one chopped the top off so it's a little bit like more loose maybe a little off the shoulder she loves that and that's literally the only thing my older one got because she's not like thrilled about thrifting um yeah so that's all she picked up my little one also got these nice gap 
sweatpants, they have pockets, just super soft, comfortable. We always need these, even in the summertime, you know, when we go on road trips or go camping, they're very much needed. And then the last thing is these cute shorts. They're by Champion. Yeah, they're just simple. They have a little bit of paint stain, but she didn't mind. Um, but yeah, when we went to the Goodwill, the actual store, honestly, looking back at when I edited the video, there are a few things that I thought like, man, why didn't I pick that up? But I don't know, nothing was really speaking to me. So we literally, none of us got anything there. And then we went to the Garadelli Square and we did a little bit of window shopping. We did pick up a few souvenirs. So after we did all the thrifting, we ended up going to the Garadelli Square where they have like the factory and all the delicious dessert. Maybe I'll insert a few, a little video of what we had. We did some shopping there, hung out, and I found this beautiful vintage puzzle. It is so pretty. It's of um, all the national parks and it's a thousand pieces. So it's definitely gonna last me or us the summertime to make it. I also need to really look into, I heard that there's these things where you could do your um, puzzle and then fold it somehow without it messing up. Uh, I definitely need to take a look and, and figure where I can get one of those. If you know of any, um, let me know in the comments because we only have that table. And as you could see, my little one's doing crafts in there, there right now. So I can't just have like this puzzle out there the whole time, you know? And then my middle one got this really pretty mirror. So love that, it's just simple and something to remember um, this trip by. And then my older one got like these little teddy bears. I couldn't find them to vlog them. And then my little one, she really liked, um, she's really into Legos and she didn't really find anything she liked there. I mean, there was this rose, but it was just so expensive and it was very simple. So I was like, hey, why don't you just, you know, take a look on Amazon, see what they have. So she found this and we ordered it the same day and she has already put them together. Like how pretty this is. But this flower, doesn't go on so we're gonna have to figure something out about that but that is it for the haul I hope that you enjoyed this video I definitely think that thrifting or shopping at the bins is so so affordable it was definitely a new experience for me they didn't have any home goods whatsoever the only thing that they had is clothes and shoes so I'm definitely gonna make an effort to make it to the bins near my home because we do have one about 15 minutes away so I just need to see because I've been seeing all these videos of people just getting all this amazing stuff at the bins and I really want to check it out because the price is like a fraction of what you pay at the regular Goodwill stores. My next video will be our San Francisco trip. It was so fun. We had so many amazing adventures and my older one, if you don't know, she skateboards and she got to meet a famous skateboarder there right before we got to San Francisco. So that was just she was on cloud nine. He has like over or around 6 million um, subscribers on YouTube. So that was so fun and special for her. And I'm just so amazed at her talents and how passionate she is and how hard she's been working, you know, just a proud mommy moment. We had so much fun thrifting in San Francisco. It's always a great time going out there. The air is so fresh. I love to explore. The energy is just something else there, you know. 
Uh, so yeah, I hope this inspires you to go out and thrift, whether you are on a weekend getaway or on vacation somewhere out of the country, try doing some vintage shopping or thrifting. It's fun to see the different things that people have, um, different places and how much things cost, you know, like how different is it? And to my surprise, honestly, San Francisco wasn't that bad. I thought it would have been a lot more than what it was. Um, so yes, I hope you have a great day and remember live life beautifully today.